We are now in a Tesla Model X. I am sweating because it's really hot outside. It's 30 degrees Celsius outside and we have sunny skies, uh, no clouds and uh, almost no wind. And I've been sitting here for a bit to test the cabin overheat protection. So it is a feature to control the temperature inside the car by burning a little bit of energy. So I also tested several things here. Uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm plugged in, but it seems like the car is not pulling any power from the plug. So it will, it will consume uh, energy from the battery to keep the cabin uh, not too hot. Yeah, it is still fairly hot in here. So I'm gonna show you here, uh, we have this one. This is the app, right? Oh, hang on, uh, let me adjust a little bit here. Uh, so it reports now that the temperature is 40 degrees Celsius. And once it hits 40 degrees Celsius, you can hear the fans start blowing. So it, it cools down. Wow, oh, that is nice and cold. Oh, yes, oh, yes. And then it brings down the temperature. Uh, it seems to, um, it seems to start at 40 and then it runs for a couple of minutes until it hits about 35 and then it stops again. Um, so I measured that in the beginning when I did the test, I had 300, uh, no wait, I had, uh, I had 230 kilometers and uh, in one hour I have lost only one kilometer. So it's, uh, it's way lower than uh, when, uh, if you keep, you know, the, uh, I can show you here by the way, you see that, uh, and one indication that uh, the heater, I mean the, the regular uh, climate control is not running is that normally there would be arrows here showing that uh, you know air conditioning is running. So now that is not the case, but uh, sorry for that. I have to adjust, it's a little bit hard, uh, like sun. But uh, now we see that the temperature is dropping. <laughs> and, whoa, this phone is super hot. The temperature is dropping, 37 now. It's going to drop a little bit more until uh, uh, the cooler and the, the fan stop. Uh, I actually expect that, you know, I can't hear the compressor. So I bet w what they will do now, because the compressor uh, sucks more power, it will only run the fans. Um, I also measured earlier that uh, when I keep, kept the compressor and everything running, it sucked about one kilowatt. But now it seems to consume maybe, let's say, 300 watts only, just to keep the fans running. It will suck in 30 degrees outside in here, and then it tries to cool down in, a, in like a in like an energy efficient way. So um, it's running now, 38. Okay, we see it's gonna run for a little bit more. It has to bring down the temperature to I don't know whatever. Uh, threshold it has. I, I'm not sure if it's a timer or or um, a, like a, a temperature threshold but um, this is nice uh, I mean <laughs> okay it's not that nice I mean, I'm sweating so I mean um, at least if you're human in here uh, you won't die from this uh, when the fans are running it's nice uh, nice and cold ish Cold ish, yeah, it's still over 35 degrees Celsius in here. Uh, but dogs, um, dogs they cannot withstand too much heat, so I'm not sure. I mean, some of you guys uh, might be better at this than you know, some of the experts, but uh, you've seen on the test now that the temperature v will vary between uh, um, 35 and 40 degrees Celsius up and down, up and down all the time, yeah. So, but it, it will not allow the temperature to go beyond 40, so that's good, yeah. Uh, and uh, I mean if you forget this feature you have it on and then for instance you your car is parked at a parking lot uh, with the Sun baking it all day uh, you might lose uh, during eight hours well this is a bit inaccurate uh, measurement I have but during eight hours you might lose let's say um, uh, maybe eight to ten kilometers yeah but if you had like the camper mode running you will lose you know five six times more uh, so it's still nice uh, but uh, I mean in most cases maybe you can just switch it off because you don't need you don't need a car to be like spending energy uh, but I guess well, it's up to you I mean I might keep it on uh, since I know that it won't suck too much energy uh, and then I don't ex like I don't reach extreme temperatures in here because uh, it's not always good that everything here will be you know 60 70 degrees Celsius you know 
uh, yeah, but it's pretty cool. Uh, well, how long is it gonna run now? It seems like oh, it stopped. It seems like it's not timer based. It's it's temperature based, or is it timer based? Okay, I'm not sure, <laughs> but it will run for a little bit and then stop, right? Until the temperature goes it reaches 40 again, and then it will start. So. The car will try to save energy as much as possible. I think Elon said uh, back then when it was implemented that you know it can it can run for months like this. Yeah, it it uses very little energy. Yeah, but yeah, uh, okay. So that's um, we're getting 39. The temperature goes up really fast now. Let me just wait for another cycle. It shouldn't take too long before before it kicks in again. So it's 39. Um. But you see, I'm sweating, so <laughs> of course it's not recommended. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty hot in here, and also this is the Model X with the, with this the, you know glass roof thing in here, and also uh, the sun is just baking from above. Now, fortunately, the glass is heavily tinted, but still, you know. And normally, when I drive uh, around here, I use that uh, sunshade thing. Oh, there you go, 40 degrees. Yes, at 40, it kicks in again. So. Um, Yeah, I'm listening to that uh, compressor sound, and I can't. And the temperature isn't like, it's not like too, too cold. Yeah, only the so they only it only turns on this one, not, not for the feet. Yeah, and not for the window. No, only only this one. Okay, these ones. Uh, but I didn't hear any compressor uh, start or stop. So um, yeah. But all right, I think that's it. Uh, cabin overheat protection test, it works. But you know what? Uh, you might be wondering why I'm sitting here at the passenger side because uh, I did try this earlier when sitting here, but then it didn't work. The temperature went beyond 40. It was like 42. Nothing happened because the car was like on. So the car has to be in this off position. So I tricked the car into thinking that no one was sitting here. Then it worked. Yeah, so if you want to test it yourself, then you have to uh, move over to the driver's side and then open the door and close it. You can do that with the Model X, which has a motorized uh, door. Yeah, but you see, actually, let's let's test something. It's running now, right? Let's see if I push this one to trick that we have a passenger, I mean a driver. It stops. Yeah, it suddenly stops. So when the car is on, I guess it is programmed that then you have full control of everything. So I purposely switch off this one, right? Yeah. So well, actually, let's let's do another test. I'm just going to test something that when when before I started this, I was running air conditioning, and I saw that it was pulling about one uh, kilowatt, you know, uh, four amps here. So let's start this one. Now we start the regular um, air conditioning. Oh, nice and cold. It's going to kick in the, there. I heard a little humming. That that is the air conditioning, and now it will draw some power from the plug and it should be more than one kilowatt because uh, now it needs to pull more in able to um, to bring the temperature down to an acceptable level first you see wow it's <laughs> it's pulling over two kilowatt in the beginning okay so now I have cooled down the car a bit and um, but the sound of it Five fan speed five seems to be uh, the speed that it uses for uh, cabin overheat protection. But you see that this one AC is on now, so the compressor is on, and we are pulling yeah a little over one kilowatt to maintain the temperature in here, which is nice and comfy around uh, 20 ish degrees Celsius. But let's see what happens if we switch off compressor, which is probably the case where there the humming can disappear. Boom. So this is the um, this is a setting for uh, for cabin overheat protection, and you see it draws way less power. Uh, it was five amp, you know, uh, one kilowatt. Now it's only pulling I don't know about two hundred fifty watts, uh, one fifth of um, of that one with the compressor on. Yeah. So I mean, I'd used this trick before when I was driving and I wanted to save energy, and you can force the compressor to be off. And many times in Norway, you still save energy because um, 
it's not that hot. Well, okay, it's very hot today, but uh, yeah. So this is like a small trick to conserve some energy. So let's see. Wow, very, very little power. It. I don't know why it doesn't pull anything from uh, the plug right now. It could be because the power draw is so small that it doesn't want to pull it from the from the from the wall. But uh, we can see what happens now. We should switch this one on again. There, I heard a little uh, humming. Yeah, I'm not sure if the microphone can pick it up, but uh, that humming indicates that uh, the compressor started. You see, and now the power output is so high that it will pull power from the plug. So it takes a couple of uh, a couple of seconds to build up. Uh, the, the, you see, yeah, it goes up a bit, and then it will stabilize at five. So there you have it, cabin overheat protection. Uh, in like a long day, let's say eight hour, I estimate that you will lose eight to ten kilometers. So that's about two percent state of charge. So you can just leave it on if you need it. Uh, as for me, I will probably switch it off because I don't need it. Uh, but um, if you want to run the air conditioning throughout the whole day, you will consume about four or five times more, like I explained earlier. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I like this feature. Yeah. So I think uh, that's it for now. Then uh, talk to you guys later.